put the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Warriors trail by eight. The kick out to right. Wide open look. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Boy, he could have taken himself, but he went from good, better, to best in getting the shot for his teammate. You saw that's a two-pointer. Count that one as his seventh make in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. That's what they're calling for from Gasol, an aggressive mindset at the offensive end. They double-team Curl. Close finds right. Fires from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. Gasol's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Ellis kicks to right. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Ellis has got assist number 11 for him here tonight. I think Ellis does a nice job passing the basketball from all angles on the floor. They get it again. The song. Count it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by 8. 115 left in the fourth quarter. Okay, Liquor fan. You asked for it. Here they are. The Liquor Girl dance team. Enjoy. 115 left to play here in the fourth. Curry with a wide open look. Misses the three. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Count the basket. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Los Angeles. Well, I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Pau Gasol. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. And he does get the second one. And that brings them within single digits. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Fifty-eight seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Golden State moving it around. And it's Monte Ellis with the finish. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 11 assists. And you know, for a smallish guy, Ellis has pretty good bounce. Here's our test. And it's Radmanovic with the rebound. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Gets the first, and that turns the lead to six. He doesn't get to the line a ton, but Radmanovic certainly puts the work in to be efficient at the line. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. And so they foul intentional. That's his first personal foul. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. So much to like about Brian's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. It's good. And now they trail by just four. Ellis demanding the ball in a big moment and just doing his thing out there. Looks comfortable the tighter the game is. Third team foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Derek Fisher. Two shots. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. You know, I look at 
at Derek Fisher and I see steadiness and reliability. I mean, night in and night out, this guy produces for you on the floor, and he does everything with the good of the team in mind. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by five. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And they need to use as little time as possible here. If they can get a bucket before the clock hits 24 seconds, they can try for a stop on the next possession. If there's less than 24, then they'll have to foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Hughes comes in for our test. And Steve Blake is something for Fisher. Here's Curry. He kicks it to Rodmanovic. And the Warriors miss again. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. That's his second personal foul. The fourth team foul. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. It's showing off a really smooth stroke there, and that will add to their lead. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Right, the pass to Carney. Yes! And now they trail by just four. So many of the plays they're running are designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's a... exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Timeout called the Lakers. They're ahead by four. 15 seconds left in the game. Timeout called for the Lakers. It's time, everyone. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. The heat is on for Odom here. His whole team depending on him. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Carney. Launches it. Laces one from three. Well, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligate an arm a few of those free throws. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. You know, the versatility Oldham offers is really hard to match up with. He's a fantastic ball handler and passer. And for a big man, that separates his game. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. The three won't fall. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so I did not know I had my mic muted, but... Uh, really I just won that game. Lakers is overall just the best. That's why I played. Uh, hope y'all have a nice night. Um, I'm going to post this to YouTube. Good night.